a waiting game. It was supposed to be immediate relief for America's theaters. But six months after this bill was signed into law by then President Trump, music and movie venues in Oklahoma are still waiting on grant money promised to them. Good evening, I'm Evan Onstant. Thanks for joining us here this evening. So far, more than 14,000 businesses have applied for relief, but as of tonight, only 90 of them have been approved. Tonight, I investigate this delay and the impact it's having on theaters here at home. There's just something about checking out a concert or going to the movies. Two things that, for the most part, disappeared during the pandemic and the theaters that did not go under are now struggling to survive. What's at stake is the future of live music in this country. Uh, this is an economic sector that's almost as large as Boeing. Chad Whitehead is managing partner of Oklahoma City's historic Tower Theater. He says the theater will bounce back and plans to reopen fully by its birthday in August. But those plans largely depend on the arrival of relief funds passed by Congress and approved by then President Donald Trump. To be able to run full capacity shows this fall, I really need to be able to rehire some staff. I need to get more marketing going. I need to pay deposits for these bands that are coming to town. None of those things can happen as long as this money is being held by the SBA. The U.S. Small Business Administration is in charge of approving and administering the grant money. Whitehead says the Tower Theater is considered in tier one of applicants as a business that lost 90 percent of its 2020 revenue compared to 2019. The day we laid off uh, 1,225 team members was uh, the hardest of my career. Also expect Expecting to be in Tier 1, Flick's Brewhouse, a high-end movie theater chain with a location in North OKC that still has not reopened. So you should be top of the list right now to get these payments. We should, but uh, the SBA is having uh, some remarkable trouble uh, trying to get uh, through the applications and, and get funds issued. COO Matthew Baser says their OKC theater opened just in time for the pandemic to shut it down. Baser says his company, expecting the grant money, hired back some employees and are hoping to reopen some theaters later this month. We are going to open and we're going to open our first three locations, uh, but it will be short lived if we don't get that shuttered venue operators grant uh, in short order. Congress, hearing from frustrated theater owners, put the head of the SBA on the hot seat in late May. So it's hard to classify the SBA's rollout of this program. Uh, uh, under your watch is anything but a total disaster and a total failure. Well, actually, this team has been working really diligently around the clock. And on June 9th, Flix Brewhouse wrote to the SBA's Office of Disaster Assistance, calling the delay in payments a national disgrace. Back at the Tower Theater, Whitehead admits it's been an emotionally exhausting process. It's really difficult to have your future and your success tied to a program where no one's giving you any answers, no one's giving you any timelines, and no one's giving you any hope that they're actually listening or that they actually care. Now, much of the delay, Baser says, is because the SBA rightfully needs to investigate each application in order to prevent fraud. But it's obviously taking way too long. So in that letter to the SBA, Flix Brewhouse suggested the SBA pay those venues just 25% of what they're requesting right now and then fully investigate them and then pay the rest of the grant. So many businesses right now hanging on by a thread.